Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn fractional binary to hexadecimal conversion. So let's take first example. Suppose if I want to convert 101.1101 of binary to hexadecimal. Now one should know how many total digits are there in hexadecimal number system. So hexadecimal number starts with 0, 1, 2, it goes up to 9. And after 9, we get A, B, C, D, E and F. Where F is equivalent to 15 of decimal. A is equivalent to 10 of decimal. B is 11 of decimal and so on. Now, if I want to write code for 15, then I can write that 8, 4, 2, 1. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14 and 14 plus 1 is 15. So we can see over here to denote single hexadecimal digit we require 4 binary numbers. So this we will keep in our mind while solving this problem. So what we will do from fractional point we will make group of 4 4 digits. So from fractional points towards the left first group has 1 0 1. Now in order to make group of 4 digit, we will add additional 0 over here. And from fractional point towards the right, first group of 4 digit is 1, 1, 0, 1. Now we will write this code using 8, 4, 2, 1, 8, 4, 2, 1. Now over here, 4 plus 1 is 5, then fractional point as it is. Now 8 plus 4 is 12. And 12 plus 1 is 13. So we got value is equal to 13. When in hexadecimal we know that A is 10, B is 11 and C is 12 and D is 13. Okay. So what we will write instead of writing 13, we will write value over here. With base 16. So this is our answer 5 point D to the base 16. Let's take one more example to understand it more clearly. We will do from fraction point we will make group of 4 digits. So from fraction point towards the left 4 digits are 0 1 0 1 and towards the right group is 0, 1. Now in order to make group of 4 digits, we will add 2 more zeros over here. Then using 8, 4, 2, 1, 8, 4, 2, 1, we will try to write these values. So 8 plus 2 is 10, but we know that A is equivalent to 10. That's why we will write A instead of 10 and this is 4. So answer is A.4 to the base 16. Here are some practice problems. Try to solve these problems and write your answer in comments. Thank you.